in the way of these wildfires so that there's nothing for them to burn through. What comes to mind as a way of dealing with that? Well, you tell me. The goat, the you're, humble goat. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You're a child. Was... Simon, I fell right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh. I've been rehearsing that for hours. That's not going to happen later. <laughs> right. Now, in case you'd forgotten what a goat looks like, let me first introduce to you one of the oldest UK species of uh, goat, uh, and endangered as well. It's the bagot goat. Of course, we all know about that one. But if you're not familiar what with the North American goat looks like, let me introduce you to this. Oh, he's a good he. Oh, isn't he a beauty? Yeah. This is the mountain goat. I'm not sure whether this particular goat is involved in eating through the, the dry grass, but it is a particularly beautiful goat. I think we'd all agree. So they are being deployed in... <laughs> Was that a bit too much about the goat? <laughs> I know, it sounded like it, didn't it, Simon? <laughs> anyway, yes. Yeah. So I'm thinking at his feet. I, was, I need mind. to stop looking at it as well. Okay. So the idea is that they munch through the dry grass. It's used in California, and it is a tried and tested way, but the story, you know, there is a story in this, is that it's expanding, becoming more popular across the western side of the USA. Clearly it's cheap, and it actually is a very effective way of creating these breaks. Goats going cheap, that's a new one. And goats are... <laughs> goats aren't only just good for, um, for fire, it's just... Like... Should we just let that sit there? I think we've gone to for a minute. Oh, what on earth is that? That's goat yoga, Simon. Just in the research for this story, we came across goat yoga. I just thought we wanted to share it with you. Because goats, goats. I don't think so. No, it's actually quite popular. It's, yeah. Should we have a look at the weather? Yeah, let's do that, shall we? <laughs> just pretend that didn't happen. Here's a picture of what's going on across the UK at the moment. Oh, it's a nice, <laughs> stop it, Simon. I'm professional. It's a nice day out there. High pressure is how we're starting this week. Low pressure is waiting in the wings, and it's that that's going to take over. So if you're enjoying the weather at the moment, you think it's all good, it's all fine. There are changes on the horizon. Here's a look at the satellite picture today. Quite a bit of cloud running through East Anglia into southeast England. Cloud has been building elsewhere, but most places are dry and pleasant sunshine. So just a quick run through with what's left of, of this afternoon. There's a slight chance of a stray shower somewhere, but the vast majority are going to be staying dry. That may not be good news for you. If you want some rain on the garden, stick with the forecast. We'll just have hints of that coming up later on. It's a little bit cool underneath that cloud in East Anglia, along some North Sea coast here with temperatures in the mid to high teens, but the further west you are, you're in the low 20s. So that's how we are to today. Into tonight, and there's a bit more cloud starting to run up towards Northern Ireland, the parts of Scotland. There is a weather front approaching from the Atlantic, so maybe one or two showers breaking out here. The odd patch of mist and fog elsewhere is possible, and temperatures may just dip down into single figures in a few rural spots. This is how your Tuesday is shaping up. Remember we had that weather front in approaching Scotland and Northern Ireland, so thicker cloud, a bit of showery rain moving through here. The odd shower breaking out ahead of that in England and Wales, but very few and far between. Again, most will have a fine day. It's warmer across eastern England compared to today, the winds changing direction a little bit as well. Now, a more active weather system is coming our way for going to Wednesday. Remember, the story this week is about low pressure taking over in our weather. So that's going to turn things wetter. Still, in Northern Ireland, Northern and Western Scotland, maybe some thundery bursts of rain coming in on Wednesday. Again, bar the odd shower in England and Wales, it is mainly dry. Some clouds, some sunshine, a bit of warmth again, particularly across the eastern side of England, with temperatures heading towards the upper 20s. And as we go towards the end of the week, I remember that story about low pressure. Here's a quick look at the outlook. That rain sinking southwards on Thursday, another weather system, wet and breezy are coming in on Friday. That's a more fast. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Sweat.